Hello everyone, welcome to latest update program. The topic of discussion is All India Tiger Estimation 2026. This topic relates to Environment section of the UPSCCSE syllabus. Let's see why this is in news. The All India Tiger Estimation 2026 is set to begin in Tamil Nadu on January 5th, marking the first phase of this nationwide tiger monitoring exercise, AITE, which is conducted once every four years by the National Tiger Conservation Authority and the Wildlife Institute of India aims to assess the tiger population, their co-predators and the prey species, which are critical for understanding the health of tiger habitats and ecosystems across India. This year's estimation also includes a comprehensive habitat assessment using various techniques like sign surveys, line transects, camera trapping and genetic sampling. Now let's discuss about All India Tiger Estimation. It aims to assess the health of wildlife habitats focusing on tigers and their co-predators such as leopards, wild dogs and hyenas as well as the mega herbivore prey base like gore, sambar deer and spotted deer. Launched in 2006, the AITE has grown into the world's largest wildlife monitoring exercise with support from advanced technologies such as camera traps and the M-Stripes monitoring system. The exercise is crucial for understanding trends in tiger populations and evaluating the effectiveness of conservation programs like Project Tiger. Now let's discuss about tiger population in India. India, home to about 75% of the world's tiger population, has made significant strides in tiger conservation over the years. According to the latest 2022 data, India's tiger population is estimated at 3,000 682, with a growth rate of 6.1% annually. The country's tiger population has more than doubled since 1973 when Project Tiger was launched. Madhya Pradesh has the largest tiger population, followed by Karnatak, Uttarakhand and Maharashtra. Key tiger reserves such as Corbett, Bandipur and Nagarhol house the highest populations of tigers. These reserves not only serve as critical habitats for tigers, but also support biodiversity conservation at large. Now it's time to do a practice question. The term M-stripes is sometimes seen in the news in the context of A. Captive breeding of wild fauna B. Maintenance of tiger reserves C. Indigenous satellite navigation system D. Security of national highways Send the answer for this question in the comment section. Thanks for watching. For more informative content, like, share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.